Hey everybody, this video is going to concentrate on removing the IPR valve on a 97 F350 7.3 liter diesel injection control pressure regulator. Okay, now you, the other videos show you uh, newer year models, uh, not this year. Okay, so you're gonna take this is a 19 millimeter nut. You're gonna take this off. And then you're gonna slide the collar off. And then you're gonna slide the solenoid off. Okay? Now, it's a really tight fit in there, and I'm gonna show you. But the problem is, is you got very limited distance in there, very limited room. 29 millimeter socket. It's long enough to go on there. Okay. Is too long, too big to get in the spot. If you take a standard socket, even a deep socket that comes in a normal set, it's too short and it still won't go in there. Okay. You can use an inch and an eighth or 29 millimeter, it doesn't matter, okay? But, for here in the garage, without finding any special tools, I had to make a wrench, a tool to take off my IPR. Let me show you. Do you see, you see in there, there's the nut for it. It's holding it on. But if you look in there, there's no room to put that socket down in there, even the long 29 millimeter. All right, got maybe an inch to get it over that stem. So let's show you what I made. Okay, I took an inch and an eighth socket, standard deep socket, and I took my four inch grinder and I grinded it, and I grinded this, the end of it off. Okay? This is about an inch, three quarters to an inch wide. All right? So then I took my grinder, and I grinded a couple slots in there. All right? Now when I go to put this, uh, slide this over that stem, I'm gonna leave the, these notches up. You can put notches all the way around if you want to. I just put a couple notches in there and being a 12 point socket, uh, I can position it. It's tight in there, but I can position it so I can get that notch where I want it. So then I'm gonna take a hammer and it's good size chisel. You can use a big long uh, flathead screwdriver if you want to, but this worked for me. And then I'm gonna reach in there and tap it at that notch and turn it loose. But when I go in there, I'm gonna drop this collar in. I'm gonna get it over there and I'm gonna position those slots up top and a little bit off off to the top center so that I can get this chisel in there to knock it loose. If you put more notches in there, you don't have to take it off. But in this case, I'm just gonna pop it off and rotate it back, slip it back on there and do the same thing, okay? So, it's kind of tight in there, and I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but this right here, I had this socket, sometimes you can find them in a pawn shop for you know a couple dollars or whatever, or you got a set already. Uh, 
get ready to ruin a socket. You might get your knuckles bloody on this, okay? It's not nothing easy, and I, my hands aren't really big, but let me go in there and show you. Now, be prepared when you take this old one off that it's going to pour oil everywhere, okay? Going to be a lot of oil come out of there. And it's going to go down the valley and it'll leak out the back of your engine. Uh, if you're quick, you can stick the new one in there without losing too much oil. But seeing as you, how tight it is, good luck on being quick. But let me show you sliding that collar on. I'm going to point to it, be able to zoom in. I've just got it laying over that, just got it laying over that stem. Let me try to put a better light on there for you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just got it laid on that stem. Now, I'm going to slide it up there where I need it. Bam, like that. And then I'm going to take my chisel and stick it in that notch and give it a couple taps. I um, can't do that and hold the camera, but um, it will break it loose. Now, I did this job with very little room in here, but... When I went to put the nut back on of the new IPR, I couldn't get my fingers in there to do it. So I try not to take off as many things as possible to get a job done, but do yourself a favor. Take this fuel line off right here. Uh, you can check to make sure it's got any pressure through this little valve right here, valve stem. But take that off, 9 sixteenths, on that collar right there, 7 16th wrench, opening wrench. We'll take this little elbow off and it'll give you another inch of operating room down there. You'll need it, all right? Do yourself a favor before you start, take that off, all right? Move it out of the way. Flip that out of the way. Oh, and take that away. Now you can see how much room there is to operate in there. You will need you some kind of pickup magnet or some long needle nose for this job because you're going to be dropping a lot of shit down there in that valley and have to dig it out. When I went back in with the IPR, uh, with that collar, I went ahead and grinded grooves uh, about every half an inch, every, you know, fairly deep little groove. Not, to we not enough to weaken the socket. And then that way I could take my screwdriver and slowly work it around. You want to screw it in as far as you can by hand, but then you can just kind of tap this around and tap it around until it gets tight. And uh, saved me a lot of time than pulling it off, moving it, putting it back on. But, yep, there it is. Homemade Ford 7.3 liter Power Stroke 97 model IPR removal and reinstallation tool. Check it out. Make yourself one. Leave your comments if you appreciate this. And uh, please like and subscribe because it's the free range nomad. You never know what's going to happen next.